So we all want our skin to look its absolute best, but that may not always be possible because of various reasons, one of which is skin discoloration. Now you may not know this, but in our lifetimes, nearly all of us have or will experience some type of hyperpigmentation. I know I have, and I know that it's pretty common, usually harmless skin condition, in which your skin becomes uneven with spots darker than your natural skin tone. Joining us today is board certified plastic surgeon, Samira Bayati of Newport Beach, California. Good morning to you, good to see you. Good morning. Glad it's a you're here to be with here. us to talk about this, Dr. Bayati, because uh, tell our viewers what hyperpigmentation is. Hyperpigmentation is a condition that's from overactive melanin production, and melanin is the substance that gives you pigment to your skin. And it can be a small spot or a very large area, like a big H spot or liver spot, mm. and it can happen anywhere on the face, on the hand, on the body, and there's a variety of conditions that qualify under hyperpigmentation, such as freckles, sun damage, anything with old scars that pigment darkly, anything that has to do with birthmarks that are darkly pigmented. Mm -hmm. So there's a variety of them. All right, we have covered a lot of ground. <laughs> yes. And just that first yes. question. But I'm sure that many of our viewers out there uh, can relate. So let me recap a bit here. We've got these spots when the skin produces mm -hmm. too much melanin at Correct. the end of the day. Are there ways that we can then protect our skin? Absolutely. Very important. There's several factors that cause hyperpigmentation. Those are factors we can control. For example, hormonal changes, such as it occurs in pregnancy. That's when it happened to me, in pregnancy. It did yep, it? it did. Very mm -hmm. common. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of women who come in and they have what's called the mask of pregnancy. Mm -hmm. It starts around the eyes, it can go into the jawline. Sometimes they have that linea nigra, the dark line on the I abdomen. I got that too. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, we, as moms, we all get it. Yeah. Other things that can affect hyperpigmentation is things like medication, antibiotics, mm -hmm is mm -hmm. a known culprit, and also birth control pills. People get that dark pigmentation in the upper lip from birth control pills. Okay. But the biggest culprit is sun exposure. Let's say we do have mm -hmm. hyperpigmentation. What can we do to reduce the appearance of it? There are several products on the market that you could use. And um, usually I see people at the very end when those products have not worked and they come in for surgical intervention. And then we have to resort to harsh chemicals like chemical peels, TCA peels, different kinds of lasers that fade hyperpigmentation, or even something called dermabrasion, which is basically we scale the skin down and mm -hmm. um, kind of like a sander, power sander, and get rid of the area of hyperpigmentation. I, I, and I, I, I'm going to be candid. I've done that too, I've, and it does it does help absolutely. It, yes, it, does. it does improve it. So let's say that we want to use a product because you yes. know these days everybody wants to use something that is more natural for yes. their skin. They want to save from harsh ingredients. So what do we look for in terms of that list of ingredients or perhaps stay away from in terms okay. of that list of ingredients? It's very important when you use a product on your skin to read the list of ingredients. Always gotta read. And I You're can't right. tell you how many people just go based on advertisement and they just don't look at the ingredient list. Mm -hmm. So the most common bleaching cream that usually is used in medicine and it's by prescription and it comes in varying strengths, it's hydroquinone. And that's a product that's been around forever. Sometimes it's used alone or in combination with other factors. But unfortunately, it does have some side effects. So if you're looking for a natural alternative, try Meloderm. It's a product that is manufactured by Savant Skin Care, and it is derived from plant extracts like mulberry, licorice, bearberry. Mm -hmm. And the combination of these extracts in addition to the other products causes a lot of improvement in areas of hyperpigmentation, mm -hmm. whether it be uneven skin tone or dark spots, or it can also be very effective in areas of hyperpigmentation like elbow pads, kneecaps uh -huh. and knuckles that happens in a lot of people for no good reason. So not just on the face. This is something that you can use literally head exactly. to toe. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming by and sharing this information with us this morning. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. I appreciate meeting you. And Likewise. to find out more about Meloderm, simply visit the website at savantskincare.com.